Hi everyone, hope you find my previous video is helpful. Now this lesson we are learning how to determine the number of real roots for a cubic polynomial. Now it is obvious that for any cubic polynomials there has to be at least one real root and for some cubic polynomials there are two and some and at most three real roots. Now there is actually a way that allows us to find the number of roots without finding the value of each root itself. And that method involving us looking at the product of the y values of each stationary point. Now there are th three situations. In situation number one, if you want to have one real root, then as you can see, the, here's our root, then the y values of the stationary points must be greater than zero in order for a cubic polynomial to have one real root. In the second situation, in order for a cubic polynomial to have two real roots, as you can see here and here, then the product of the y values of the stationary points must equal to zero, because one of the roots, which is a stationary point, is on the x-axis. Now in situation number three, in order for a cubic polynomial to have three real roots, then here, here, and here, then the product of the y value of the stationary points must be Less than zero. Now in this example it says find the range of values of k for which p of x equals to x cubed minus 12 kx plus 2 has one real root only. Now let's apply this method that we know. In order for a cubic polynomial to have one real root only then we want the product of the y value of the stationary points to be greater than zero. So which means we want y1 y2 to be greater than 0, where y1, y2 are the y values of the stationary points. Okay, the first step is to actually find the values of the stationary points. So let's differentiate. So here's our derivative, which equals to 3x squared minus 12k. Stationary point occurs when p dash of x equals to 0. Okay, so these are the x values of our stationary points. Now what we need to do is we need to find the y values. So what do we do with these x values? Substitute it back into p of x. Okay, after substituting, you should get 8k root k minus 24k root k plus 2. And simplifying this, we get 2 minus 16k root k. And let's do the same for minus 2 root k. So you should get this, and after simplifying, you should get 2 plus 16k root k. The next step is to apply this. We need to have y1 times y2 to be greater than 0 in order for a cubic polynomial to have one real root only. So what we need to do here, we need to do p of 2 root k times p of minus 2 root k um, greater than 0. Multiplying this, we need to solve it. So we have 4 greater than 256k cubed. So k cubed equals to 4 over... Oops. k cubed less than 4 over 256. So k cubed less than 1 over 64. So 
therefore k must be less than a quarter. So this is the range of value for k in order for this polynomial to have one real root only.